So it's they themselves who must demonstrate peace. But in the instance that maybe counter, demonstration, counter demonstrations end up being um, violent, the law actually speaks to the fact that you shouldn't stop the demonstration. You should not um, prevent these people from enjoying their right just because other people have become violent. So if you look at, for example, this African Commission guidelines, uh, African Commission guidelines on uh, protection on assemblies generally, and it speaks to the fact that if you train police adequately, they will be able to know that what we need to do here is remove the people who are acting, not who are not acting peacefully, and allow these other people to continue enjoying. The demo, to continue participating in the demonstration. So that's actually what should happen. Even in the instance of the uh, part of the people in the demonstration itself are being and acting, uh, let's say, violently, that doesn't mean you just go and say, okay, guys, that's it, we're done. So you should actually seek to, um, you should actually try and find out who's acting, you know, in a manner that's not peaceful and remove them from the demonstration so that the rest can be able to, to do what they came there to do. So. Uh, that was important to note. Uh, however, we see the common occurrence is that police will even stop the demonstration before it begins because they feel like ah, this is likely to be, you know, violent. So let's just let's stop it there.